opening weekend at Uari, April 2nd, 2021. The trails actually opened up yesterday on the 1st. I got down here yesterday afternoon about 4 o'clock. Got camp set up. Had, uh, had a couple barley pops. Threw some ribs on the fire. And just kind of chilled out. The rest of my group will be coming in today, but trust me, I've had a rough night. So, got down to about 29 degrees last night. I froze my little nuggets off, y'all. I'd sleep for 10 or 15 minutes and wake up and shiver for 30. Sleep for 10 or 15 minutes and wake up and shiver for 30. Long night. So I got up this morning, got everything kind of straightened up. Thought, well, I'll go to the outpost and get some breakfast. Got in the Jeep, headed up the road, and my TPMS was on. My left rear tire was at eight pounds, which if I was wheeling, that'd be fine. But I haven't even aired down yet. We got trouble, stick around. All right, so once I realized that my left rear was low, I just kept an eye on it, went on up to the outpost, and it maintained. It maintained at 8 PSI. So I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe it just seeped out of the beadlocks, because that can happen. Beadlocks tend to seep a little bit of air, but it just seems strange to me that none of the others did it. Well, I got back to camp, got out my air compressor, aired the tire back up, and watched it and within 10 minutes it had dropped four psi already so it's losing air somehow some way so i've already got the jeep jacked up got the lug nuts off i got my spare off fixing to pull this tire off and see if i can figure out why it's losing air and then put the spare on there so we can wheel today when the rest of the group gets here <laughs> There's my culprit. Yep. Oh, actually, it's right here. I can hear it. I picked up one of them sharp ass URI rocks. There it is, right there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it seeping out. Stuck right in the tread, and I've got another bigger one stuck right there. And that dude was in there that deep. Oh boy, I might could plug that, but geez, I'd say this tire is runt. And this one, this little one, was only in there about that far. I hope this is not an indication of how my off-road season is going to go. I'm not a geologist, and maybe some of you rock experts know, but I think this is shale because the way it chipped off and it's uh, almost looks like a daggum arrowhead. That shit was sharp. So anyhow, what's next? There you go, straight.
There you go, you got it. Good job, Logan. Passenger, there you go. Keep coming. You got it. This is my favorite view at Uari. After you make the switch back, coming up front side, just looking out over that valley. He's still on a good. If he can turn, he's he's still looking good. When you go come up, I need you to go driver. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. over there got the lights on sitting around a raging fire because it's colder than hell again so we didn't get a lot of video here the last couple days um, it's been super dry and really today being the first Saturday you are is open and it being the Jamboree it was not something we wanted to mess with so we kind of hung around we went and checked out the Jamboree and uh, we went and did a night run went and did a Rocky Mountain Loop fun little trail so now we're just kind of sitting around the fire drinking a few beers and enjoying you know relaxing so the first night I was out here by myself and uh, it was really cold. It got down to like 28 that night and I had a big fire going and I finally turned in and I heard something. I don't know what it was and it was just seemed really strange and uh, but I only heard it once. Well then last night everybody was here and uh we were sitting around the fire and it was pretty quiet you know we weren't making a bunch of noise we didn't have any music going or anything and the wind had finally laid down because it was real windy and uh we heard the same thing that i heard the night before we heard it three times it i don't know within what maybe 15 20 minutes three times and uh so nobody has any idea um there are some theories but we won't get into that so uh we were just sitting around here this evening and just a couple minutes ago we heard it again so we're gonna see if we can't see if we can get it on at least audio because whatever it is we're not gonna see it but it's it's freaky look over here see that foil over there that's what's left of my ribs they're warming up right now they're gonna be pretty good <laughs> Did 
there it was. Oh my god. Oh my god. CM, I told you. <laughs> that's uh, freaky. Freaky. That okay. that that's that's three nights now. I uh we've been hearing that. An air siren? No, it doesn't it's sound like an air siren. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's freaky. I'm glad it's more way over there. there. I'm glad it's way over there, too. <laughs> it sounds like it's across the river, for sure. Hmm. Um, if any of y'all ever hang out at UARI, you heard anything like that, hit it down in the comments. I'm, I'm curious. This is, um, that's friggin' I've been in the outdoors my entire life. I've heard bobcats screaming. I've heard wolves, coyotes. I've heard bucks fighting. And that's a weird sound, but I've never heard anything like that before. Bucks fighting. Yeah, you've never heard bucks fighting? No, I never have. <laughs> I've heard bobcats. Yeah, bobcats are wicked weird. <laughs> Yes. I don't think they're fighting. Yeah, I think they might be making that sweet though. Oh. <laughs> well, bobcats don't need to be fighting, but deer bucks, when they get to fighting, they get slacking their antlers together, and they're just, you know, they're getting after it, dude. It's It, it makes a bunch of damn racket, but it's nothing like that. That's not a sound of it. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, strange goings on in URI National Forest. Well, it's Sunday morning. We're trying to get packed up and head back to the house. It's a good weekend. Some strange goings on. I'm quite certain I look as bad as I feel. Part of it, I guess, right? Hope you guys liked the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep the shiny side up. Jeep on.